years to see how he swam. With regards to exercising here, every day I run and also I go on the bicycle for two hours a day. Also, especially from my legs, I do muscle training as well as I train my arms as well. There's devices available here and I do um, workouts two hours a day. So by continuing this, I'm able to transition well to the 1G environment on Earth. With regards to the breaststroke question, let me try it out and show you how it's going to look like. So you turn, your body goes up, but you cannot move forward, it looks like. It looks difficult to do breaststroke. Right. I have to be in water. Even if I'm stroking the air, I can't proceed forward. The next question is from someone who showed us elegant performance in the 2006 Winter Olympics. Wakata-san, hello. I'm Shizukara Kawa, the figure skater. How is life in orbit? Are you able to make ice in space? That's my question. And if you were able to make ice, what kind of ice can you make? As a figure skater, I often do the in a bower, which is arting backwards. What happens if you were to do that in outer space? Can you show us how it's like? I'm asking a lot of questions, but I hope you can answer them. And Wakata-san, I hope you enjoy your life in space. And good luck. Hi, Arakawa-san. No, Ina Bawa wa watakushi mo hontoni miryo saremashita. Ms. Arakawa, thank you very much for your questions, and I was fascinated by your Ina Bawa. With regards to ice making in space, at JAXA, we are engaging in ice crystal experiments. Various types of ice crystals are being made in a weightless environment. In a weightless environment, if you were to grow crystals, whether it's proteins or waters or metals, because there's no weight here in our space, even if it's materials of different weight composition, it can mix together and special types of crystallization can be enabled. So in the ice crystal growth experiment, various types of unique aspects of formation can be confirmed. With regards to ice for drinking water, it cannot be made in outer space yet at the ISS. We do have a refrigerator, but we don't have a freezer. Soon it's expected to arrive, though. We only have um, freezers for experimental use at this moment, not for eating. Can you show us the inner bower movement? Yes, yes, I forgot. I'll try it out. He's turning backward and turning around. That's space in a bower. That's wonderful. Space in a bower. It's a little hard. Thank you very much. It's a bit different from the beautiful inner bower of Ms. Arakawa. Mr. Wakata is a great fan of baseball. Do you know that Japanese national team won the WBC championship? Yes. The news that Japan won the World Baseball Classics is news that I've heard here at the station. With regards to the actual match, the images of the games were being sent to the ISS. I was really excited in watching the games. We have a message from the manager of Japan national team. Mr. Wakata, how are you? And hello to the ISS crew. I appreciate your hard work for the entire Earth. I'm Hara, manager of Yomiuri Giants. We were able to become world champions of the baseball with the Japan Power. To me, Japan Power means willpower and tenacity.
Mr. Wakata, you are staying in space for three months. I hope you'll do a wonderful job with the Japanese Japan power, the tenacity and willpower. Meanwhile, I will work hard through the season so I'll be able to give people hope. Good luck. Mr. Hara, thank you so much. And congratulations for winning the WBC. I heard about the news here at the ISS and I was really, really encouraged. Samurai Japan that was led by Mr. Hara. Your tenacity and drive is what I would like to also have here at the ISS and exert so I could do a great job. Through my activities here at the ISS, I hope that people can aspire and have bigger dreams. We also have questions from a national team player. Hello, I'm Shinosuke Abe from the Yomiuri Giants. What happens when you throw a off-speed ball in orbit, especially what happens to fork balls because it's supposed to drop at the end because of gravity, but what happens in um, space that's weightless? Hi, so this is well, yes. When it comes to fork balls, that's a ball that you can only throw on Earth. Because if you're in space, I don't have a ball with me right now. This is a camera lens. But if I were to throw this, it will go straight. On Earth, when you throw a ball in baseball, the ball can rotate as you pitch it. But if you try to throw a ball like this in space, this object will go up. However, you're not able to throw objects with force in outer space like you would do on Earth. So a fork ball would not fall, a straight ball will rise. Mr. Wakata, to change the topic, in 1996 it was your first flight and this is your third flight. When you look at, down at the Earth, do you see any difference on the surface of the Earth? Well, yes, I've come here twice before, but this time around, I also feel that the Earth is blue in many ways, and its beauty is something I'm fascinated with every day when I see it. Currently, we are right above the Amazon. We're about to pass it. Deforestation when seen from outer space is something you can feel evidently when you take pictures. You could see that the forests are shrinking and that there's more brown. How do you feel about the issue of the Earth's environment? Well, our astronauts, as well as people who are engaged in space exploration, basically these are people who would like to expand the frontier in space. I think it's a very important job and occupation. But at the same time, we need to cooperate with other countries across the world so that when it comes to the Earth, we can protect it. We can protect the environment of the Earth. I believe that is our mandate. That's how I feel strongly when I look at the Earth from outer space. From Mr. Wakata, we'd like to ask if, you have, if he has any message. This is our last question. Do you have any message for people in Japan? Hi. People in Japan, thank you for supporting the activities of astronauts. There are eight Japanese astronauts, and from this April, two have been added. Mr. O Nishi and Yui have been added. Now we have 10 people from Japan. The so Japanese astronauts will be working here at Kibo going forward, so we ask for your ongoing support. For, it's going to be a long stay here for three and a half months, but I really hope that